Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Spring Break Over 60. Today, we are in St. Augustine, Florida. We are standing in front of the Ripley's, believe it or not, museum. We're gonna go inside. I hear they have some crazy weird stuff in there. So let's go inside and check it out. Inside the front door, first we're met with a Captain Jack Sparrow statue. This guy apparently is our tour guide, J.T. Sailor, and he is adorable. Look at that face. This is the first floor where you purchase your tickets and you go into the museum. On the first floor, they do have a few little interesting items, as you can see here. Um, but they also give you kind of um, a look at the life and some of the experiences of Robert L. Ripley. And there's just some of his um, uh, things that he has done in his life. And what museum is complete without a picture of Elvis Presley made out of candy? So we're going to go down this hall. This is like a forced perspective, either that or does it really get smaller at the end? Believe it or not, maybe it does. Okay, so on this next level, first I want to show you if it is three levels. There are a lot of stairs to climb. They do have an elevator if you need that. Um, also, since it is a museum, I am doing voiceover. Um, this level here is a lot of space trivia. How long is a day on Mars? 24.6 hours. Now, there you go. How much does it cost to make a spacesuit? Over a million dollars. Say what? And true or false, the last rainy day on Mars was more than a million years ago, and that is true. So there's a lot of trivia. My granddaughter and my husband absolutely love this. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, excuse me. I just, I just need to get by, so if you just would let me just go, I, oh, now I'm going to see flashes the rest of the day. My husband thought it would be fun to pose with this guy as well. Anyway, back to the museum, and again, the space uh, trivia, space, um, just cute little articles to look at, photos, um, information, again, my granddaughter and my husband loved this level because they really love NASA and the space program as well. And if you notice, I, I may be go, I, I may make you crazy with some of my filming. That's because as we're going through here, somebody's always telling me, look over here, look at this. So I will try not to make you dizzy, at least not right now. And this was actually one of the things I had to look at. Boba Fett, look at that. Very cool. Now over here, this is really unique. This is the space station and it is made out of matchbooks. Take a look at the detail on this. I mean, this is crazy. And down here, it does tell you some information. It took over a year to construct it and that's how many matchsticks it took. I hope I didn't say match books before. It's match sticks. And of course, who doesn't love a bat with Steve Jobs' face painted on it? I would hang that on my wall. No. No, I wouldn't. Anyway, just another look at some of the items in this room here before we head into the next room. And from one room to another, you never know what you're going to see. Like these cockroaches that were hand-painted. And of course, human bone daggers, um, all kinds of things. And of course, an area where you see tools of torture. I mean, what, what a better way to say spring break, now right? we get into some of the real oddities, like this cow who had an extra leg coming out of his back. And that's the leg right there. Actually, it says he has six legs, so I think there's two of them coming out of there. Anyway, and a headless chicken and a rabbit with two heads and a two-faced lamb. You know, just your ordinary farmyard animals. And this little lady here who actually reminded me of Ringo Starr. 
I don't know why. And of course, it says not to look in this hole, but of course, my husband had to do it. It was a four-legged chicken. Here we have this very large man and then this very skinny man. And this guy had blue skin. These are just some of the um, odd characters in this room. See, it says odd right there. This guy is unique, as it says. I think he was on an episode of The X-Files, if I do recall. And there is Zoltar. Do you want to be big? And this guy is swallowing the snake. It's going in his nose, coming out his mouth. And this says, I have traveled 201 countries, and the strangest thing I've ever seen is this man. Now, this next area does have a lot of strange things in it, a lot of oddities, and unfortunately, some of them do involve animals. So, if you have small children with you, you may want to be warned because um, some of these little odd animals may creep out little kids, and they may creep you out as well. For example, this two-headed parrot, which my granddaughter and I, we really think they just sewed it on there. This puppy has six legs, and this kitten is just some sort of a mess. So, oh, look at this beautiful lion. Anyway, just be careful with the kids. However, my granddaughter enjoyed this interactive thing here where she could create her own weird pet. So, just... um. If you have little kids with you or people that are sensitive to animals, kind of be aware that some of the crazy things in here, unfortunately, do include animals. So, anyway, look at those plates and look at this ram skull. Now, as a reseller, a thrifter, I'm looking at this and thinking, I wonder if I could sell this on eBay for a profit. And then I thought, oh, silly girl. Of course you could make a profit off this on eBay. My husband at this point took me by the hand and dragged me away from this. So anyway, keep an eye out, eBay people. Have you ever wanted dimples? Here's the gadget for you. Could that skull bead necklace be considered vintage? And of course, this is a goose that was hungry and got frozen in a window or something. It got stuck. This is not a goose. He's talking, but I have no idea what he's saying. And then there's this delightful little item. There's a lot of interactive things that are fun to do. I was trying to get my granddaughter up here because I knew what it was going to do. She wasn't buying it. She's like, heck no, Grandma. I am not buying it. She is out. She's like, nope. So I stuck to it even though I knew it was going to do this. Boom. <laughs> uh, I couldn't fool her. This is a little um, uh, theater area where you can watch a film about Ripley and his life. What Florida attraction would get, be complete without a pirate section? This um, had some interactive things. It's like a shooting gallery. You could shoot at the pirates. It did cost a little extra. We did not do that, but it did have some interesting information about pirates. Down these stairs we go to take a look at these coffins. This one was like Dumbo. And this one over here was like a snake, but it's hard to tell from the picture. And these are some death masks or life masks of some famous people. Be Betty Davis, I'm sorry. James Dean, and I forgot who these other two guys are. But anyway, they had a wall of different life masks of celebrities. This is the part of the video where I hope I can make you dizzy. Actually, filming this doesn't do it justice, but you walk through this like vortex. The walls are spinning and you're walking across and you feel like you are going to fall. Um, it's especially fun if you're trying to film while you are doing it. Um, but it was a lot of fun and of course, as with all good attractions, 
this does dump you right off into the gift shop. Now I didn't film everything here, otherwise this video would have been well over an hour, an hour and a half. I hope it will make you want to come to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum yourself. And of course my eyes, I had to go right to these glass items. They were like 20 bucks, I think. Maybe the small ones, I think 14, but I'm on a Goodwill budget. And I didn't think that uh, I was going to pick up anything here today. Outside there is an anatomically correct statue of David. But I hope you will enjoy it anyway. Thank you so much for joining me today at Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum here in St. Augustine, Florida. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will do so now. Um, this is the first video of this week's Spring Break Over 60. I do have two or three more videos that I'm going to put out, so be sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, leave me any comments down below, and be sure and hit that bell notification so you know when the next Spring Break Over 60 video is available. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys later.